The Manila International Auto Show is the Philippines' biggest motor show in terms of visitor count, cars on display, and exhibitors. The show, previously known as the Manila International Motor Show, is an annual venue for car buyers and enthusiasts alike to take a closer look at the latest models and significant concepts from the Philippines' premier auto makers. History of the Manila International Auto Show In Southeast Asia, the Philippines is one of the seats of automotive history. In the years after World War II, the Philippines became an attractive venue for foreign investment. Japanese companies seeking to expand their market penetration established factories in this country. There were notable early successes. In 1955, Mercedes Benz established an assembly plant in the Philippines that was the first in the world outside of Germany to produce its E Class sedan. In 1972, GM established a jointly owned vehicle and transmission manufacturing operation in the Philippines with two Philippine companies. In 1979, Isuzu Motors invests in the venture, GM Pilipinas, Inc. During the martial law regime of Ferdinand Marcos, foreign investment dried up, and most car companies shuttered their operations in the country. Stalwarts such as Toyota and Ford stopped producing and selling cars. GM Pilipinas assembly and transmission plant ceased operation in 1985. With the restoration of a credible government, and establishment of freer trade policies, the Philippines was again back in the map. Soon, carmakers were establishing new facilities in the region, and the Philippines attracted its share of investment. In a land once called the Pearl of the Orient, where jeepneys and calices were once the king of the road, Manila is now positioning to be an automotive force to reckon with. With production figures inching closely to pre-Asian crisis volumes, the automotive industry appears to be shifting to a higher gear. The clamor for growth and the need for the automotive brands to be showcased in a forum for new model debuts became the impetus to stage the first ever Manila International Motor Show. For this very reason, motoring writers Jason K. Ang, Ulysses K. Ang, and Alvin U. Y. approached Joseph Ang, chairman of World Bex Services International and talked about the idea of holding an international grade and industry-based auto show. Joseph Ang, an events and trade show veteran, quickly grasped the idea and announced the holding of the first ever Manila Motor Show held April 2005 as a tribute to his late father, who was in the automotive dealership business before his passing. In 2006, the Manila International Auto Show, was presented by the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines Inc. Campi, and legitimate establishments and partners in the automotive car industry. MIA's 2015 2015 MIA's was also a hit in its own melancholy. The show itself was capable of gathering a massive crowd of more than 110,000 visitors along with participants in hundreds of number from all over the globe, under the 30,000 SQM Hall of World Trade Center. The major launches received by 2015 Mias included cars like five-door Mini Cooper, Subaru Legacy and Outback, Ford Everest, Mazda 2, 2015 Sorento SUV, and a lot more. Mias 2014 the tenth of the Manila International Auto Show has been divided into which will be held in the Philippines from April 3 to April 6, 2014. The show is similar to the India's Auto Expo on February 2014. MIA's 2013 MIA's 2009, Passion for Performance Manila International Auto Show 2009 show was held over nearly 20,000 square meters of indoor and outdoor areas. MIAs welcomed more than 70,000 visitors during its April 2 to 5, 2009 run. They viewed 35 car brands from seven countries, including some vehicles never before seen on Philippine roads. Motor Image Pilipinas, the exclusive Philippine distributor of Subaru automobiles, launched the new Impreza sedan. MIAs continued its tradition of showcasing new products and new cars. Five auto brands from China unveiled their new models, the Chana Starlight Jr., a subcompact version of the Chana Starlight, Cherry QQ3, QQ1.1 AMT, QQ6, Tigo 1.6 MT and a bulletproof Tigo concept, Life in 520, Great Wall Perry, Photon MPX.
Evnovations previewed its Revai electric vehicle. The Revai is a full electric vehicle, running on lead-acid batteries. After an 8-hour charge from home or office 220-volt electrical outlet, the Revai is ready to run for up to 80 km, with a top speed of 80 km per hour. MD-1 showcased its Philippine-made e-jeepney. The e-jeepney is an electrically powered, zero-emissions vehicle that provides an alternative to the noisy, uncomfortable, and smoke-belching jeeps that we often see on Philippine roads. The MIA's Custom Classic Car Competition held its second year, with more than 60 cars participating in a gleaming showcase of classic and custom vehicles. Taking the best of show was a pristine 1956 Pontiac Star Chief. The European Mobile Media Association EMA, conducted a sound competition at the MIA's grounds. Mercedes-Benz showed off the all-new GLK SUV, BMW exhibited a rarely seen 6-series convertible. Jeep displayed a toughened-up variant of the Wrangler. Jaguar introduced the new XF sedan. Mitsubishi previewed the new Galant and displayed the new Montero Sport 4x2 and Evolution X models. Honda showed off the new City. Several OEM and aftermarket suppliers also graced Mia's. Bridgestone set up a motorsports-themed pavilion. Yokohama showed off a classic Alfa Romeo in its area. Motolite celebrated its 90th year anniversary with an impressive display. Autoplus Sportcentrium, distributor of modal high-performance lubricants, displayed a gaggle of super cars in its area, including a Nissan R35 GTR paired with a tuned R34. Also in their booth was a Ford GT, a Shelby GT500, and several rare Porsches. Tuison Racing gave a series of seminars on road safety. Repsol also highlighted its line of lubricants. Summit Media's BBC Top Gear Philippines was the event's exclusive magazine sponsor. Mia's 2008, Imagination in Motion The 2008 show was held from 3 to 6 April at the World Trade Center, Roxas Boulevard, Pasay City. MIA's 2008 covered over 20,000 square meters of exhibition space, making it the biggest motoring event this country has ever seen. MIA's 2008 attracted 76,800 visitors, not including the exhibitors and their employees and associates. As the only major motoring event for the first half of 2008, MIA's 2008 continues to be the venue of choice for launching new cars. This year, no less than 15 new models will make their public debut including several new car brands. Seeing the growing trend towards cars as rolling works of art, MIAS takes the theme of imagination in motion. Manila International Auto Show 2008 presented a total of 26 brands including Autohub, BMW, Chana, Cherry, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Fau, Ferrari, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Jack, Jaguar, Jeep, Kama Trucks, Land Rover, Maserati, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sinsky, Sangyong, Subaru and Suzuki. Other notable exhibitors were Bridgestone, Michelin, Yokohama, Philippine Aluminum Wheels Inc., Rota, and Autoplus, Modal Oil. Summit Media's BBC Top Gear Philippines was a sponsor and primary media partner. MIA's 2007, Modern Mobility The 2007 show was held from 29 March to 1 April at the World Trade Center, Roxas Boulevard, Pasay City. MIA's 2007 attracted 68,000 visitors, not including the exhibitors and their employees and associates. Approximately 250 cars were on display within the WTC main hall and lobby. Manila International Auto Show 2007 presented a total of 21 brands including BMW, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Ferrari, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Jack, Jaguar, Jeep, Kama Trucks, Land Rover, Maserati, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru and Suzuki. Notably absent in the commercial exhibits this year was the country's biggest automotive brand Toyota, as were Audi, Porsche, Kia and Volvo. Summit Media's BBC Top Gear Philippines was a sponsor and primary media partner. Highlights of the show included 
Mazda wins the Best Exhibition Booth Award. The Mazda Pavilion was chosen as Best Exhibition Booth this year because of overall design, difficulty in execution, architectural balance and harmony, adherence to its corporate identity and concept. The Mazda team received the award given to them during the third day of the show. A big photo wall served as backdrop for its models and invokes the youthful lifestyle of the brand. Ford Group Philippines has the biggest outdoor and indoor exhibition space with a total of 400 square meters of interior showcase and over 2,000 square meters of outdoor space consisting of a specially designed outdoor 4x4 circuit track. Ford has the biggest combined outdoor and indoor showcase in the recently concluded Manila International Auto Show, visitors queuing up for their turn in test driving their favorite Ford SUV and pickup trucks. A specially modified Ford Focus was also prominently displayed in their indoor exhibition together with some other models fitted with aftermarket body kits and alloy wheels. Hyundai puts out the biggest indoor single brand showcase. With a total of 611 square meters, Hyundai has the biggest indoor showcase exhibition. Special space frame trusses were hoisted over their exhibition area that came with a plethora of halogen spot and flood lights illuminating its various models. Several photographic walls served as backdrops for its various models. Formula Motorsports Philippines came out with the most exotic showcase, combining a mixed brand of three Ferraris, four Jaguar saloons and three luxury Range Rover SUVs made Formula Motorsports Philippines came out with the most exotic showcase in the recently concluded show. Hyundai wins the Best Presentation Award with the public debut of its Veracruz, Elentra and Coupe, an Oriental-inspired dance number coupled with a professional singer was a big hit with the media who voted this presentation as the best among all the presentations made during the show. Several other exhibitors did their best to create a festive and lively atmosphere with lights and sound effects that made judging a tough choice to make. Guinness World Record holder Russ Swift's was the Mia's crowd Subaru used three high-performance sedans to be used in a series of precision stunt driving performances by Guinness record holder Russ Swift, who performed two-wheel, donut spin and the thrilling fist-type parallel parking maneuvers at the backstage area of the World Trade Center. The world-famous British stunt driver was behind the famous stunt scenes of the movie The Italian Job and is a regular performer in the most prestigious international auto shows in the world. Modal Nismo Skyline GTR in Manila A Nissan Skyline GTR R34 was specially imported for the MIAS exhibit by Autoplus Sportcentrum, the country's exclusive distributor for modal oil. The red number 22 Modal Pitwork Skyline GTR was driven by Masami Kagayama and Richard Lyons in 2003 and won many victories in the fiercely competitive Japan Grand Touring Car Championship. The name Godzilla is appropriate, as it is accorded in Japan a demigod-like cult status, and was on loan courtesy of Nismo, Nissan Motorsports, Japan. Displayed beside the Godzilla was another Nissan Skyline owned by Autoplus. The highly modified blue-colored Skyline GTR was the country's first car to break the 1,000 horsepower record. Mia's 2006, Driving Our Future in 2006, the show ran from April 6 to April 9 at the World Trade Center, Roxas Boulevard, Pasay City. The 2006 show marked a much larger show with these major exhibitors, Audi, BMW, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Ferrari, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Jaguar, Jeep, Kia Motors, Maserati, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Porsche, and Toyota. Aside from static displays, numerous test drives were available. Car launches included 8th generation Honda Civic, the Jeep Commander, the Chrysler Pacifica luxury wagon, the new Toyota Previa, the 265 horsepower, 198 kilowatts Nissan Murano, the new Kia Rio sedan and hatchback, and the new Hyundai Santa Fe SUV. The exhibitors announced an amazing array of special vehicles and never before seen road cars. Mitsubishi Motor Philippines displayed their rally heritage with the Dakar winning Pajaro Evolution plus the Lancer Evolution X Mister and the Eclipse 3.8 V6. 
Ford Group Philippines flexed their compact car muscle with their 225 horsepower, 168 kilowatts Focus Street and Focus Duratorque diesel. Mercedes-Benz previewed the future of motoring with demos of the F-cell hydrogen-powered fuel cell car, as Isuzu demonstrated its ELF hybrid truck. Toyota's TF105 Formula One race car represented the company's motorsports ambitions. The evocative 550 horsepower, 410 kilowatts, modal Ford GT was certainly another crowd drawer. The theme for 2006 focused on alternative fuels and energy efficiency. In the midst of rising fossil fuel costs, a lot of car manufacturers are gearing their R&D efforts towards this direction. Among the vehicles to be put on display is Daimler Chrysler's Mercedes-Benz fuel cell car cleverly mounted within a standard A-class chassis. Also on display is an Isuzu ELF hybrid truck. The ELF hybrid expands the possibilities for Isuzu's diesel technology, and brings it to new levels of efficiency and clean emissions. Both Mercedes-Benz and Isuzu conducted symposia on fuel cell and hybrid technology during the show. References External links Official website 2014 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2013 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2012 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2011 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2010 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2009 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2008 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2007 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2006 show feature from autoindustria.com Auto show feature on autoindustria.com 2008 show feature from motioncars.com archived the 24th of June 2008 at the Wayback Machine 2007 show feature from motioncars.com archived the 25th of June 2008 at the Wayback Machine